Welcome everybody again to my studio. Fun little secret, I actually didn't clean up at all last night because I plan on making the rest of my bath bombs today, but I do wanna show you how the other bath bombs dried and they dried perfectly fine. No one ended up getting decapitated, which is good. And they are pretty, pretty solid. Oh my God, look how cute this is. I love him so much. I love you. This is a solid looking bear. And I'm not gonna finish him by painting his eyes and nose. I think he's pretty cute the way he is. But stay tuned for the demo of this guy, which I'm gonna do at the end of this video. I'm going to take a bath with him at the end of my day, and I think it'll be fun to see how he fizzes around the bathtub. All right, let's put you away there. Continue drying out. And over here are my glorious Twilight Woods bath bombs, which feel pretty dry. Oh my God, look how beautiful these Twilight Woods bath bombs are. By the time you're seeing this, they should be up on the website. So if you want to order them, check out the link to my shop down below. Oh, so gorgeous. The teal and the purple, yum. That is just a great color pairing. But today I will be making two more batches. I'm going to be doing high tide bath bombs and wild blackberry bath bombs using my bath bomb press machine over here. So if you're interested in seeing how that works, I will come back when the bath bombs are ready to press. So we're now at the pressing point and I have my two colors here. They're both shades of blue because I'm pressing my high tide bath bombs and I'm using a bio glitter to accentuate the tops of, this, of the bath bombs. I added just a little bit just a dusting of it to the top or to this mold and I just alternate between the two colors here I don't go too hard just like that and then I go over to my bath bomb press I don't know if I can get a good angle Move this back and a few pack okay this might work let me just straighten you guys out okay end up with a ball like this and to release it just flip it over and if it's not coming out you can also take off the bottom like this go back to your machine and just push it down like that <laughs> and it'll come through the ring and then you can get your reveal like this Look how beautiful this bath bomb is. Love it. I'll show you what that unmolding method looks like with this angle. But just line it up to the plunger piece, push up, it'll release your ball, and then you will have a beautiful bath bomb without forcing it to come out. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. So here are the finished and pressed wild blackberry bath bombs. And I tried to get like a purple red, but it ended up just being extremely close to the hot pink. So I don't know if this will dry like this, but this is how it looks. The contrast isn't as, as stark as I was initially planning, unfortunately. And here are the high tide bath bombs, looking pretty gorgeous. Also with a very subtle <laughs> two-tone look to them, but it's hard to see. It'll it might get better when it dries, which I'll show you tomorrow what they look like dry. But none of those bath bombs are taken care of. I have orders to fulfill. So my usual method is just to lay them all out. I think I've shown you this before, but it's interesting to see, so why not? And then I will just collect the inventory on each order sheet and go from there. planning on releasing my soap and bath bombs today. It'll just probably be much later than I initially was planning, but it'll get done today, I promise, guys. That is the life of a small business owner. So 
So here are the orders that I need to fulfill. And there's not as many now as there was last week. I think people are holding out for soap and bath bombs. So I'm expecting a bigger influx of orders um, once I get those soaps and bath bombs listed on my website. But it's still quite a bit. I really hate the idea of people wanting to buy my products and then coming to a site where it's all sold out. I don't like that. So I think what I'm gonna do is to make product as needed so that people are able to purchase. And I just might move that fulfillment time a little bit further to give me a little bit more time to make the product as needed. I think I'm definitely gonna do that with the bath bombs. And people really enjoy my bath bombs. A lot of them messaged me after my bath bomb launch asking about the next time I was going to release them because they had missed the release. I only made a limited number of bath bombs. So with these ones, these are bath bombs that are a part of my core line. I do plan on having them on my website permanently. So I think what I'm going to do is list them plus some additional scents that they can order and have that be a part of my core line. That's always on my website. That's always available for sale. I don't think I'm going to get a giant amount of unmanageable orders. And if I do, I'll be able to communicate with you guys that my fulfillment time is gonna take a, a little bit longer. But as of now, the current volume of orders that are coming in, it's pretty manageable. So I think that's what I'm gonna do because I really wanna be able to send you these products. I love them and I love hearing people enjoy them. <laughs> so this is my solution to that. I won't be doing that with the soaps though because I don't wanna be stuck having to make a whole lot of soap if I don't have the time for it. So that will still be on a release model. Um, hopefully by 2024, orders will even out and it won't be such a big mad rush as I stock the website with more items, but we'll see. Look how perfectly these jars fit into this six by four by three tall box. And to brand my box, I just stuck this thermal, thermally printed circle label right here. And I printed this on my Mun bin. And I think if you are running a small business out of your home, a thermal printer is one of those things that will just change the entire game. I love my thermal printer. I don't know if I'd be able to operate as quickly without it. I, I definitely wouldn't be able to operate as quickly without it. I've done my shipping without a Munbin and I can tell you that it is way faster using a thermal printer. <laughs> now all I need to do is fill it up with some crinkle fill and add a card and then we're good. I'm so glad that, that is done. I scheduled my pickup for tomorrow, which is really easy to do on Pirate Ship, which is what I use for my shipping labels. I highly recommend it if you're within the United States and are, you're looking for a good shipping courier solution, Pirate Ship is awesome. Hey guys, I'm in my bathroom and as promised, I'm going to demo for you the Sleepy Bear, or my version of Lush's Sleepy Bear, bath bomb. Look how big these guys actually are. They're quite hefty. But I'm going to do a demo of this cute little guy in the tub so you can see how he um, performs. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do that. All right, little guy, let's see how you fare in the tub, whether you sink or float. Oh, he floats.
Oh, look at that gorgeous purple water. And the smell of this bath bomb is so good. It's so inviting and the perfect bath bomb to end a long, busy day. This bath bomb performed so nicely. I'm really glad that it floated and the color of the water is just perfect. <sighs> Very happy how this turned out. But I think that's it for today. I'm going to try to get my product listings up and to get my website restocked. That's my goal for the end of tonight, but I want to do that pretty fast. So I don't think I'm going to vlog it, but tomorrow find out whether or not I got any new orders and also keep following on this journey. If you guys want the recipe to those bath bombs that I showed earlier, there is a link down below to my Patreon, which is where it is. And speaking of my Patreon, thank you to my patrons. You guys are absolutely amazing. I appreciate each and every one of you so much, especially my bubble BFFs, these guys right here. Your support means so much to me and I am grateful for each and every one of you. But if you wanna buy any of my bath bombs, my website should be stocked by the time you're watching this video. So go ahead and check that out. There is a link to my online shop down below as well. But that is it. Thank you guys for watching. And until the next one, keep smiling, keep being awesome. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.